Frank Sinatra was one of the most notorious names in the golden age of Hollywood, forming part of the iconic Rat Pack group in Las Vegas alongside his A-list pals Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Joey Bishop, also being joined by Peter Lawford for a brief time. However, the world-renowned star had multiple health struggles throughout his life starting at his birth when doctors originally believed he had been stillborn. In 1998, Frank's fourth wife, Barbara Sinatra, and close friend Tony Opedisano stood by his bedside as the singer took his last breath at the Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. The film producer recalled Frank's last moments in a 2015 interview with The Mirror, saying that the My Way singer wearily turned to his wife and uttered, I'm losing. Tony reassured that the singer wasn't panicked but struggled to speak because of his breathing. He added, he was just resigned to the fact that he had given it his best but he wasn't going to come through. I told him I loved him but those were the last words I ever heard him say before he passed away. Although he was known as one of the rowdiest personalities in Hollywood at the time, Frank had been fighting a variety of health battles in the years before his death. In 1984, the man dubbed simply The Voice was ordered by doctors to rest his vocal cords for at least 10 days and the Las Vegas Sun noted that Frank's ailments forced him to cancel a week-long engagement at the time. Two years later the star had to undergo an emergency operation to remove 12 inches of his large intestine as he was suffering from diverticulitis. Don't miss! Harry biker Dave Myers sheds weight amid brutal cancer treatment, Insight, Strictly's Motsi meets King Charles and Camilla in head-turning gown, latest, Paul O'Grady's tearful words prior to his death amid health struggles, reveal, the disease originates with small bulges developing in the lining of the intestine which can cause pain, constipation, diarrhea and even blood in the feces. While the operation proved successful, Frank was back in hospital for eight days in 1996, reportedly for a pinched nerve and suffered a non-fatal heart attack at the start of 1997. The sensational singer left behind an irrefutable legacy and his death saw tributes pouring in from across the globe as well as grand gestures from the two places he loved most, Las Vegas and New York. The night after his death the Empire State Building was lit up in blue to honor the fallen star and the lights on the Las Vegas Strip were dimmed with casinos halting business for a minute in solemn remembrance, 